Today we celebrate harvest 180 years ago. Two of the churches in our mission community uh, were consecrated by the Bishop of Chester, this church St Anne's and Christ Church Harwood. It was actually only a year later in 1843 when the practice of the modern harvest festival uh, was brought back by a rather eccentric Cornish vicar called Robert Hawker. He wanted in his parish to celebrate the gifts of harvest, particularly wheat, that provided the bread for the people to eat. And since then, many parish churches have wanted to celebrate in a physical way the gift of harvest by bringing fruit and vegetables and food to the church as a reminder of God's goodness. In recent years, we've also been bringing tinned foods and dried foods so that we can give them, give them to those that need food. And sadly, this year, the need for food is going to be ever greater, even within our area of Bolton, as so many depend on food handouts from the food banks and from urban outreach. And as we celebrate harvest today, as we thank God for his goodness, we have to remember that there are too many who are either hungry or who are dependent on handouts to avoid being hungry. Let us thank God for his goodness. Let us commit ourselves to work for a better world for all. We begin with our first hymn, We Plough the Fields and Scatter. We remind ourselves that all good gifts around us come from heaven above. So let us pray. 
for all your good gifts we thank you. For variety, abundance and choice, we thank you. Forgive us when we do not have the same desire for all to flourish, all to have choice and abundance. Forgive us, Lord. Turn us from greed and acquisitiveness. Turn us to generosity and giving. Turn us from grasping and holding. Turn us to offering and sharing. Give us strength to resist the temptation to hoard, to grasp, to hold on. May we follow in the way of Jesus. Teach us to enjoy this beautiful and bounteous world. Teach us to care for it, tend it and pass it on to others. Our readings today are from the Psalms, Psalm 65 and Psalm 67, read by Anna and by Emily from St Andrews. You take care of the land, you water it and make it fertile. Your streams are always filled with water, that's how you make the crops grow. Your pour rain in the ploughed fields, you soak the fields with water, you make the ground soft with rain and you make the young plants grow. You start the new year with a good harvest, you end the new year with many crops. Desert and hills are covered with grass, the pastures are covered with sheep, the valleys are filled with grain, everything in singing and shouting for joy. God, show mercy to us and bless us. Please accept us. Let everyone on earth learn about you. Let the nations know how you save people. May people praise you, God. May all people praise you. May all nations rejoice and be happy because you judge people fairly. You rule over every nation. May the people praise you, God. N may all people praise you, God, our God, bless us. Let our land give us a great harvest. May God bless us and may all the people on earth fear and respect him. The joy of today's Psalms is that they are to do with creation, blessing and praise. Psalm 67 is addressed in the following manner. To the chief musician on stringed instruments, a psalm, a song. And the psalm, psalm starts with a request for blessing, based on the blessing that was given by Aaron and found in Numbers chapter 6, verses 24 to 26. Here Aaron, the high priest of Israel, pronounces the beautiful blessing upon the people. The psalmist also asks for mercy, and this will set our hearts in the right frame of mind, because we are all in need of mercy. Some people may need more than others, but we all need God's mercy. The psalmist then asks for the face of God to shine upon us. When God looks upon us, he is well pleased, not because of who we are or what we have done, but because we are all together in Christ Jesus. There's no greater source of peace and power in the world than this. In many Bibles, the first verse of the psalm finishes with the word selah. In Hebrew, this word, which occurs 74 times in the Old Testament, denotes a, a, a pause, a place for people to stop and think, a time for reflection. It may also be taken as being a, a musical instruction, a time for the musicians to stop and pause, an interlude. And when the psalmist asks for God's blessing, it's not a selfish request because he's making it for the whole world. He says that your ways may be known upon earth, your saving power amongst all nations. The cry is then to praise God, but not just by a few people. The psalm says that all the people praise him. 
We don't only want the earth to know God's love and his ways. We don't even want them to stop with the nations knowing his salvation. We want all the peoples to praise him. There is something wonderful about a lot of people praising God. And our work with God is incomplete until we are fully praising him. And why should the nations sing for joy? It is because God is coming to judge the people righteously and govern the nations on earth. He will break the yoke of oppression and introduce the glorious liberty of the children of God, where service is perfect freedom. Once again, the word Selah is used because this thought is truly worthy of deep reflection. At the end of the psalm, the psalmist turns to the wonders of nature and the abundance of the harvest, as we saw in the verses that we read from Psalm 65. We now see a glorious circle. We are blessed. We use that blessing to pray to God and to ask for his blessing on us again. And then we reach out to a hurting world. And as that aligns with the heart of God, we are blessed even more. And so that blessing goes on and on. It goes round and round. It's worth just considering our own lives for a moment, seeing if we have broken this circle. Have we stopped believing that God blesses? Have we stopped seeking to extend that blessing to others? Have we stopped seeing God's heart in everything? If we don't break the circle, then surely we shall go on from glory to glory. So let us make sure that we turn God's blessing into a blessing for others, so that we can bring much out of little and spread the love of God across the whole of the world. Amen. Our prayers today are led by Mike and Jean Haslam from St. Maxentius Bradshaw. Creator God, at this I Harvest celebration, we praise and thank you for the wonder, variety and beauty of all that you have created. You have given us this world to look after and share, and provided within it everything we need to flourish and prosper. Inspire and enable us to restore and respect, to preserve and protect this beautiful world for all people now and in the future. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Generous God, thank you for the harvest, for food to eat, for all involved in growing, processing, preparing and delivering it to us. Thank you too for the harvest of science and technology, power and manufacturing, medicine and healing, music and visual arts, exploration and discovery, invention and creative thought. Give us the wisdom, understanding and creativity to use and share your gifts wisely for the benefit of all people throughout the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of the harvest, we lift to you all those who have no harvest to celebrate. We pray for people the world over who are hungry and thirsty for whatever reason, those who are homeless, those who live every day with abuse, intimidation and fear, those struggling to survive, those separated from their loved ones and for refugees everywhere, in desperate need of help, peace, safety. We pray your blessing on lives overwhelmed with suffering and we ask that all needs are met. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Gracious God, we pray for all those who are sick, that you may guide and strengthen them through their illness. We pray also for those who care for the sick, those engaged in the caring professions, and for family members who look after loved ones, and especially for children who care for parents. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Merciful God, 
as we remember loved ones who have departed this life. We thank you for all those who have gone before us. Give to them your peace. Let light perpetual shine upon them. And in your loving wisdom and almighty power, work in them the holy purpose of your perfect will. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, word made flesh, free us from all that imprisons us, our addictions and obsessions, our focus on worldly wealth and status, our pride, fear and prejudice. Nurture our days with your love, water our souls with the dew of forgiveness, so that the harvest of our lives might be your joy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. And a second harvest hymn, Come, ye thankful people, come, raise the song of harvest home.
thank God for his goodness to us. We thank God for the gifts of food and choice, for the plenty that we do have, for the beauty around us, for the variety of plant life, for the richness of creation. We use the word bounty, bounteous God. We thank God for the bounty around us. We ask for his blessing for ourselves. We ask for his blessing for those who are on our hearts and minds. We seek God's blessing particularly for our nation and its leaders at this critical time. We pray for our world and particularly for those parts where there is no harvest, whether through drought or flood or through the destruction of hurricane. We pray for those parts of the world where there has been no harvest because of war. As we ask for God's blessing for us, so we pray for God's blessing of peace and plenty, of hope and prosperity for others, particularly in the hurting parts of our world. Lord God, bless us, we pray, as we thank you for all that we have. And bless your needy world. Your kingdom come. 